flow. Queen of Pain will use up hers. Nico Baby still has that BKB to they try and make a bit of a gap here for the blink call. S4 four is in there with a dunk! 75, yeah, 4.5 seconds. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot. Divide by the. Yeah. Ian, this fuck. He does not want to get bursted by Axe. And there we have it. FTM lose their undying. Nico Baby with that nullifier. Fire. Very quickly on top of them, another S4 with a ninja gear. Continually smoking himself up. Keeping hidden. As Roshan, what is it? 40 seconds. Iceberg makes the jump onto S4. Trying to catch with General now. Puck actually aggressively jumping forward, but silenced. Limp. He's going to be counted out by the Yule Sam. There's Aloha Dance. Dealt with by the Sonic Wave and the Nullifier from the Weaver. As the back end of the team fight, they do find FNG. v -tune and Iceberg chasing onto the Soulbound core heroes now. Queen of Pain and Axe held in place. Iceberg's being pummeled by Nico Baby, but the Weaver can only do so much. Another Yule's Essence Ring. Try and blink away. Limp with that BKB expiring. Still susceptible to getting jumped by the Puck. They've got a Yule Scepter again. Iceberg chasing Quap. Silence ready. As they do find Aloha Dance in the back and the buyback start to flow. Queen of Pain will use up hers. Nico Baby still has that BKB to they try and make a bit of a gap here for the blink call. S4 Boy, is in call. there with the dunks. No way. Holy shit, S4. I said he needed a call of his life, but my goodness, I didn't expect that one. A double kill for Axe. He got a four-man call with the blade mail going. Radiant scan onto the high ground, catches nothing. Alliance all holding that eastern side. Aegis on Nico, baby. Scouts always want to fly. Immediate hex strike from that prince's knife. And they should be able to get the dunk down onto the undying as Nico, baby, gives chase and wants more. Aloha Dance is his target of choice. Shiver's Guard, Limp, focusing v tune. They've got another blink call here from S4, but it's cancelled out. No blink thanks to the Spirit Vessel, but they've got the grip. They've got the GG. They call it's it. Called out and FTM tap out. Alliance take game one, S4 God, single-handedly getting them back into and winning this game in the matter of two minutes. This must be so devastating for Fly to Moon. They, they had this game. I, I think they messed up with the item build that I said on uh, Phantom Lancer. He definitely needed a Bissell Blade before to control Weaver. They were very limited and they needed an earlier gem pickup so they can see her moving around. But man, that call from S4 definitely a game winning absolutely game winning oh my goodness gracious me there, there we have it game one going the way of alliance i mean things were all tied up things were 26 to 26 when that fight was starting off you know it was very close game net worth there was almost no difference between them i mean i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna watch it back on the on the replay it's like